Hi, I'm Patricia from Ross & Co Hair Design in Hamilton. Our target market is definitely what I would consider like a higher spend market. It are people that are not coming in and saying, how much is it to get this? And to achieve that target market delivery and retention, we are very strict on our service delivery to the point where we literally role play regularly each touch point of service when a client comes into the salon. Everyone in my team is basically holding a rebooking rate of above 80% because they truly understand the value of that. Um, we discuss our figures every week, so it's really transparent. And we also discuss the negative consequences of not rebooking. Not only does it mean our columns are empty, but it also means um, you're not really taking care of the client. So um, Katumba Targets is a fantastic tool that you can utilize with the Katumba point of sale software. And it's really great because as your team want to progress and grow, you can just set their targets to suit each team member. Those team members can have access to those targets at all times. I think one of the most wonderful features that Katumba has on those targets can actually pinpoint and tell you whether you're on target or how much more you'd need to make to achieve those targets. KPIs are a direct reflection of how you are serving your clients. You know, if your rebooking rate is low, you can guarantee that your team are not discussing any kind of hair journey, they're not discussing any kind of future thing, they are disengaged with their client or they're not being given enough training to create that result for you. You know, it's about being completely transparent. It's about like, what do you want out of your business? Um, are you being responsible for those results? And that's gonna come down to literally having those discussions and giving your team the tools uh, to achieve those results and getting your team to really understand exactly what KPI results mean. My top tips for other salon owners that are serious about their growth is to swallow that hard pill and just if you are having struggles within your business just come back to yourself and really honestly ask yourself are you actually giving enough to your team what can you do to take the stress away because um, I also understand that whole fear of coming off the floor like I was so scared to come off the floor and actually work on my business but you just have to start because the more of us that run salons professionally and transparently, the better our industry is gonna get.